As of August 2021, the cost of abandoned projects in Nigeria was approximately 12 trillion naira. And according to the Nigeria Institute of Quantity Surveyors, the NIQS, there are about 56,000 abandoned projects in Nigeria. The president of NIQS in the Percy of Abato says most of the projects are abandoned due to insufficient research on the monetary estimation that was required to carry out the project. Why the federal government abandoned some of the projects? The others were ignored by the states. These projects are run by public and private sectors entities, which implies that savings, bank credits, and taxpayer money have been wasted and buried in abandoned projects. So, in this video, I will be talking about the top 10 abandoned projects in Nigeria. So, guys, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and put on the post notification bell to be notified each time i post a video and don't like forget this. to like and comment the ajakuta state project the ajakuta state complex in kogi state was visualized to serve as the bedrock of nigeria industrialization the state complex have reportedly reached 98 percent completion as far back as 1994 but no steel was produced after it was abandoned the federal government has spent over $8 billion on the project which was supposed to cost $650 million. The 8th Senate has passed a bill seeking $1 billion from the excess crude account to fund the completion of the plant, but it was rejected by the President. Major General Muhammad Bouhari retired. This project was conceived in 1979 by the administration of General Olusegun Obasanjo to develop industrialization and have a functional steel industry in the country. However, this project is still uncompleted to date. On number two is the Suleja International Hotel. The project was conceived with the idea to relocate Nigeria's capital city from Lagos to Abuja was contemplated and federal power starters were located in Suloja Emirates back then. The hotel, which is located at the foot of the famous Zuma Rock along the Abuja Kaduna Road, had been left to Roti for over 37 years. It was based on this consideration that Suleja International Hotel project was a back upon not only as a five-star hotel, but also as a tourist center because of its strategic location, which is close to the Zuma Rock. Work on this structure have been abandoned for decades. For several years, the famous work have been surrendered by different myths, including the fact that it now serves as a gateway to the afterlife and is also an avenger of wrongdoing against those who live around it. Next on my list is the Millennial Tour. The Millennial Tour and Cultural Center is one of a number of projects in the central district of Nigeria's capital city of Abuja. At 170 meters, it is the tallest artificial structure in Abuja. The project is part of Nigerian National Complex, which also includes the Nigeria Cultural Center. Construction for the tour started in 2006 and was stopped at in 2014, while the Cultural Center is still under construction. The project was actually planned to be completed in the year 2011. Next to my list is the Plan 2 Olympic Stadium. This stadium was conceived to be a standard stadium that would compete with any other stadium in the country and even on the continent. The stadium was supposed to be one of a kind where its foundation was laid in 1988. However, 32 years down the line, the stadium is still yet to host its first tournament. A total of 7 billion never have been spent on the structure from 1988 to 2014 and it still needs 4 billion naira to get it completed. On number 5 is Bayesa Towa Hotel. The 80-story 5-star Towa Hotel was Kodne's Towa of Controversy as it has remained a subject of controversy in Bayesa State. The project was initiated to serve as a destination for tourists and people from all walks of life in Nigeria. However, after six governors and billions of naira spent, the project is nowhere near completion. Despite the billions of naira that have been jetted into the project, it still remains a stillborn. On number six is Nigeria Airways. 
Nigeria Airways started as West Africa Airways Corporation Nigeria in 1958 with Nigeria as majority owner. With it, during its reign, Nigeria Airways has 20 planes and over 8,000 staff serving our customers around West Africa and Europe. The introduction of International Monetary Fund Policy, along with corruption, mismanagement and overstaffing, led to a steady decline of Nigeria Airways for the 1980s. The career has accumulated significant debt that has stripped its revenue from the mid-80s to the extent that aircraft were detained or imparted for a pay debt. However, by 1999, the airline was completely dead. In 2019, the administration of President Mohamed Bouhari announced plans to revive the Nigeria Airways. It was even rebranded to Nigeria Air. A Danish consulting firm was awarded the contract to redesign the Nigeria Air logo at a cost of $1 million. The project itself never saw the light of the day. Number seven is the Fedra Secretariat in Koyi. The Fedra Secretariat complex at Koyi, Lagos State, which is not abandoned, used to be a facility providing office space for government businesses and others that manned the ministry, department, and agency that were located there. The massive 15-story building that constituted a landmark property on a prime location in Lagos State before the country's federal capital was moved to Abuja in 1991 have over the year been stripped of its beauty and splendor. This masterpiece is now owned to Tarts and Miss Greens in the area. On number 8 is Mina 5 Star Hotel. This Abaddon project dates back to 2009 where the Niger state government conceived the idea to build a 5-star hotel. A total of 5 million naira have been spent on the project and it still needs 90.6 billion naira to get it completed. On number 9 is the Rivers Monorail project. The idea for the Monorail project was conceived by Honorable Rotimi Amechi, the former governor of the state. The project was designed to ease transportation problems within the state. The Monorail project was designed to cover 12 km at a total cost of 15 billion naira, but the project got abandoned at 2.6 km. And lastly is the Avo OC International Hotel. The Avo OC International Hotel was initiated by the Plateau State Government. The history of the project dates back to 1981. The vision of the project was to build a luxurious five-star hotel destination searched by investors and tourists. The Avo OC Hotel, located at Shere E, in just not local government of Plateau State, sits on 29 hectares of land. The 300 80 room project on completion would have presidential suits, executive suits, specialty restaurants, and so many others amazing facilities. But it's close to four decades, and the project is nowhere near completion. So, guys, I've come to the end of this video. Hope you find this video very informative. So do wait to leave your comments in the comment section, like and subscribe and see you guys in my next video.